What's up, Magnum Sites? I want to tell y'all about the scariest appointment I have ever been on in my whole life, okay? This happened about two years ago, okay? I go to a nice neighborhood, and as y'all know, I do in-home sales. So I come to your house, I do an evaluation, give you a quote. If you like it, you buy. If you don't, you don't. So when I get to the house, regular old sunshiny suburban neighborhood. I get there. The guy's not there yet. I call him. He says he's on his way. Pulls up in a silver Mercedes, okay? Pulls up nice. So no, 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 no reason for alarm yet. No reason for alarm yet, you know? Um, and he was like, like a, a pale white dude, um, you know, kind of balding glasses. You know, he had that, you know, that, you know, that stereotypical office worker type of look. But he was dressed down. He has t-shirt and jeans and boots on or whatever. So, um, he, he, we get to his front door and, um, uh, I realize this man's got money. He has to open his door with a thumbprint. So he flips up the top, puts the thumbprint on, on like the, the, the he had to see where it was set up. It was like a covered, like, switch and you flip it up, put your, scans it, lets him in, unlocked it. He got in the door. I'm like, all right, that's kind of cool. So we get in. I notice that he's got this snakeskin wallpaper. And we get into like his living room area and he's got this really big fucking shark fish tank. I'm like, damn. Now, it's one of these row home communities that you might see popping up in a lot of areas. It was one of them, one of the newer row home communities, you know. Everybody's got the garage and the stone front and all shit like that. So, you know, I'm like, damn, you fit a lot of shit in here, right? So, now here come the scary shit, right? So, as I'm walking in, I'm starting to see things getting a little uh, gothic. Okay, so he's got like this chandelier with claws on it over his dining room table with the, you know, with the feet and the dark, really dark fucking hard oak table. And then we get into the family room. Ah! So we get into the family room, got this purple wallpaper, his fireplace, okay, a black fireplace with black and gray skulls all around it, okay? Now, I'm not talking about paint it on the wall. Now, I'm talking about skulls, okay? All around it. Ah. Then I look at his coffee table. His coffee table is all black with the werewolf feet or whatever, and right on it is a big black book with an inverted pentagram on it. Now, when I saw that, I was all like, And I don't know if he was some witch, some warlock, devil worshiper. I don't know what he was, but that type of shit scares me. That's why I don't watch like demonic movies like The Exorcist and all that. The motherfucking movies scare me. I came up very religious and that shit scares me. Whether it's real or not, it fucking scares me. So he starts talking to me. And at this point, I can't think of nothing but to get the fuck out of this house, okay? But I can't just run the fuck out. I don't know how to get out. You need thumbprints to open shit. I'm like, I don't know if he's going to sacrifice me or what. So I'm like, okay, just stay cool, cuz. You stay calm, answer his questions, and we'll get the fuck out of this, okay? So this is what he does, right? So he's asking me all about, like, these cameras. Like, the, First of all, the man has got money. He, t he tells me basically that he deals in the music industry. And he's got all these signed um, things from different rock groups and stuff on his wall, like uh, drum covers and stuff like that. So I was like, damn shit, I'm thinking to myself, I always heard there was some devil worshippers up in this motherfucker, so, in that industry. So anyway, um, so he's talking to me and everything, and he says, uh, basically he needs new cameras and all this stuff. The cameras he needed, look, he had cameras that totally outdid the cameras we could do. Like, this man had money, you know what I'm saying? So, but he's showing me around the place. He's talking about upgrading certain things, maybe his, you know, security system. We get up to his bedroom, okay? I walked in this bitch, and he had, like, all these black flowing drapes on the ceiling with another fucking chandelier with claws on it or whatever and candles. And, like... The room was painted black, okay? Big old gothic bed, wood bed. And he said, you know, I don't, he even painted his keypad black. 
And he had said to me, I don't like a lot of sunlight, as you can tell. I even had shades um, installed. And he had these power shades that come down and make the room dark, just blot out the whole fucking room. I'm like, oh my God, this motherfucker's scaring me. So then we go to his basement. We get to his basement, okay? <laughs> his basement had to be around uh, 35 feet in length, all right? 35 by uh, 12 or 15, like that. So anyway, we get down there. This, let, oh my God, I still can't believe it to this day. Literally, all right, literally, wall to wall. One side, the other side, okay? He's got five or six rows literally filled the whole length of the basement. Porn. Porn. F five or six rows of porn. And on the other side, it's all regular movies. All mainstream movies, okay? Then, in the corner, there's TV, his huge flat screen TV. He's got a bust. If y'all, all y'all that don't know what a bust is, a head and bust. Um, it's, it's like those old Greek statues where it's just the chest and the head. He had a statue of the devil, Satan, Beelzebub, Lucifer, whatever the fuck you want to call him. And I know it was him because he had horns and he had a look. I, I'll never forget this. He had to look like this on his face in the statue. So the statue's like, I'm like, oh my fucking God, he just confirmed me. He worships Satan. All right. Uh. <laughs> well, I was just like, I need to get the fuck out of here. So I just let him know when we sat down. I was like, look, I can't, I can't uh, upgrade your system. You, your system's way too advanced. You may need to call a commercial department or someone else to handle this. So he's like, okay. And he was very, very nice. I gotta tell you that. He was very nice. He didn't scare me himself in any form or fashion whatsoever. But it was what he had in his house, okay? He had to piss out of me. I got another friend in this business that goes to a lot of appointments. I told her she needed to set up her, her channel because y'all would love her stories. She gets all the crazy motherfuckers. She done ran into witches. Pimps and towels dripping with water, opening the door like, come on in, girl. I mean, look, she even ran into it all. All types of crazy stories. But that's my story. I was glad I got out of there. And then my boss talked about any on sales know this. Well, you want to follow up with him? I said, hell fuck no. You better give that appointment to somebody else. Because I'm not going back. Guarantee. I'm not going back. You can fire me. You can do whatever you want to do. But I'm not going back. So, that was the scariest motherfucking appointment. I ever been on. If y'all got a scarier story about in-home sales, make sure you post the link below or post your comments below. Talk to y'all later.